Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing, cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign, unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them, but you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Look, over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Barbados on our honeymoon. It was insulting. We were poor people. I live in Vinewood to be away from poor people. Barbados is lovely. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all-inclusive resorts where you can use as much as you want, be around other people from San Andreas, and the only interaction you have with the locals is if you need a cocktail or, or some spice in the bedroom with your husband. Well, that sounds lovely. With people like you, it's no wonder we don't bother curing cancer. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Roar! Yeah, it's funny. You go on and on about other countries, but you live here. America rules you, Tommy. Eat me. Well, we've been trying. Tom, you're on the line. I'm so sick of England. Oh, let's go to the pub. They're all alcohol. At least we drink a 24-pack in private instead of hanging out in some social setting making a fool of ourselves. People say it's so civilized in Europe. They got thousands of years of history. Well, I saw a movie about Europe once and I was disgusted. And people still defecate in their living rooms and cover it up with dirt like a cat. You can't find a decent permit anywhere. Or a good chicken wing. And a stripper? Overcharge. Good lord, you're Philistine. You should stay out of here. I hear there is a casino in Ventures that is just like the rest of the world, only with better toilets and full of morons like you. Jesus, what took you? To Reno! Where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. It wouldn't be like this in you, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery. Or the glory hole theme park. There, the glory holes aren't theme parks, I can tell you. It's violent and bloody and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want a jump. I know what you mean. Jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels haunted? Anyway. That's our cargo arriving now. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Two agency choppers.
troopers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs. songs about yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. How, how you living? Straight? Really? Are you really straight? What? You gonna question me? Dude, it's cool. If somebody passes it to me, I don't ask questions. It's probably not laced anyway. So, who out there wants to talk to OG Loke? Call her. You're on Entertaining America. I love the way you rap about the Louisiana person. Straight? You know the French called us Louisiana. Okay, get the package back to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. Things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reaper by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, low down, home of the G says this. I love reaper. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. At a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this piece. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or, or to it. 